Hey everyone. Hey everyone, so I thought I would do a short video talking about how we transitioned Eva from a crib to a big girl bed. She's a big girl now. And here's Eva. Let's say hi. But I, 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 I. <laughs> Can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> so a few nights ago, I mentioned on my Facebook fan page that Eva had been climbing out of her crib. And she did it a couple of times, but we didn't really worry about it because she has climbed out of it a few times before. <laughs> nights ago I wrote on my Facebook fan page that Eva had climbed out of her crib nine times in one night and Steve and I finally decided this is the time we're switching her to a big girl bed so the next morning we drove to Toys R Us and we took her in there to pick out her big girl bed with um, her own big girl bedding whatever she wanted to have so she chose a really cute little white bed and some Tinkerbell and then we have another set of some Lightning McQueen bedding. <laughs> it wasn't my choice, but it's whatever she wants. Um, we were really worried about like transitioning her to from a crib to a bed because she has been in a crib for a long time. But Steve and I discussed long ago that we would, wouldn't be the type of parents that it's like, oh, she's a year old or oh, she's a year and a half, we'll take her out of the crib now. We figured we were gonna wait until she's ready and she's showing signs that she is ready. Well, climbing out of the crib nine times on one that I would say is ready because it's obviously becoming dangerous and we don't want her to be in any kind of danger. So we have the bed now and we have set it up for her. And the first night went really, really well, a lot better than I thought it would. She slept in the crib all night long. She went to bed at about nine o'clock and she slept from nine o'clock till almost eight o'clock in the morning. The only thing that she did do was about, probably I think about six o'clock in the morning, she either fell out of bed or she just decided to sleep on the floor. So she did that and she was all curled up. So I didn't want to move her. So I just left her there. She was warm and she was fine. Um, and then last night she slept in the bed and she slept all night long and she managed to stay in the bed all night long. And she seems to really like her bed. She likes to sit there and play on it. So it's really cute. So yeah, so we think that we made a good decision waiting until she was, she was ready, or at least in our opinion, she was ready to switch. And now Mila now has Eva's crib because I talked about that before, how we had planned to give Mila Eva's crib and then just get her some new bedding. So I got her some new bedding. So I will show you guys what it looks like and I'll put in a picture and a picture of her toddler bed, but I'll show you what the bed looks like. So here's Eva's little bed. It is a toddler bed. Hey guys, so I said I would show now Mila's crib with her new bedding. There it is. Super cute. She's not sleeping in it right now, and when she is sleeping in it, I will take out the bumper pads, but I just think they're cute in it right now. One thing I didn't mention is that we have put in this little gate here in Eva's doorway, um, and it opens up just to let us in and out just so if she does get up in the middle of the night, that she can open the door and she can see out, but she can't get out of the room and get into anything that she shouldn't be playing with. <laughs> Hopefully she doesn't learn how to climb out of it. Thanks for watching. She gets over the crib to get out. And we decided, oh, Eva. Um, and it was time to 